having the Christmas muck out. I, trouble is with our truss, trough system, the, uh, they end up rubbing their necks bad if the muck gets deep because they are, these troughs weren't designed for our feeder wagon. We've had to make them lower and a bit of a pain in the ass really but next year we're uh, we're changing it all but yeah the, it's the morning of the truth it's a bit high isn't it that's all right isn't it yeah it's the morn, morning of truth whether they are or whether they aren't well we know I, I think we know by looking at them, a lot of them are, but these narrow ones, we're a bit concerned that they're, uh, they're dry, and I'm afraid if they're dry, anything will anger a calf in them. Uh, it's called PD, pregnancy diagnose, diagnosis, and what vet comes and puts a thing up its ass, a camera, and looks for, uh, looks for features of a calf. And uh, yeah, there's a few a little bit hollow, but such as that girl, what we call skinny cow here. She's very hollow, so we'll see. Because there has been, I've heard some nightmares where people have had quite big numbers of cows and they've tested ver a percentage very low, you know, less than 50% through one, one reason and another. Yeah, we'll see, and then Anything what isn't, straight in that yard to get fattened, to go to kill. And anything what is, uh, is going across into our new yard. We're just waiting for the vet. And what we're doing while we're on, we're giving him a good wormer. Because um, th there's a light, slight bit of cough and we don't, it's not a lung worm. We're a bit worried about lung worms. So we've bought a bit more ex of an expensive wormer. Um, to cover that, so yeah, it's side acting. Got it off, got it off our local um, mole man. Tom really looks after us and uh, gives us some good advice. He does so. He knows his stuff. Yeah, I've got his number actually, and in New Year, if you want out, I mean, bloody mole, mole Valley products do out from a five bar gate to wormer or all sorts of products it's uh, it's hell of a hell of a we've only been drilling with him a, a year 18 month and uh, yeah he really looks after us does our rep is real helpful so yeah right well we'll just wait for that got junior management here little billy in the girl's house what have you got a girl's out on him for it doesn't look much like a, a farmer. It looks more like a little bear. We've got Nicola on hairdressing duties, so we can see we can see their uh, numbers a lot easier. By the mucky and all, we could have done with the cloth. And Chavi from Homefields Vets testing our. Uh, pregnancy rate and so far so good we've got one blank and we didn't expect it we thought she was one of the better ones but we're giving her another chance because she's got a cyst where is the cyst Chavi? Where, a cyst on her ovaries a cyst on her ovaries and uh, and we've we've treated that and hopefully next year she'll uh, catch on again because she's one of our favorites it's this girl here but she's still uh, got a calf at foot. She's the one with the calf. So she, she ain't altogether useless. But the rest of them are in calf. Oh. Oh. Worm it. Yeah. How far was that on? <coughs> How far was that on? Seven months. Seven months. God, they're all tight, aren't they? Yeah, just touch your scar. Uh, like Come on, go. Come on, hip, hip, hip. She was, yeah. That lady we've just let out, she had a C-section last night, uh, last year. 
and uh, we lost the cap. Chavi did it uh, before he went home. Uh, he's a Spanish British Chavi, and uh, uh, before he went home to see his family. And yeah, it was a bit of a disaster really. But we left it too lo too long. We should have been in there 12 hours before. Really. But so far, it's all good news. Seven. We're here in seven, eight months, you know, so everything's fairly close. Even the narrow ones, which we're going to have to really sort of work on their condition before the car, bless them. They're going to have no, like, reserves to feed their, you know, to put into milk. But, yeah, so far, so good. Everybody's happy. Are you happy, Ab? Yeah? Are you happy, Bill? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, girl. Come on. 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 Come and how was the chopping them out? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that was it. Oh, one rule of the That was the What are you feeling for then, Chavi? What am I feeling? What are you feeling? Uh, bones, cotyledons, and arteries. Basically, it's the size and the arteries which telling me how far. And you are going through the rectum yes. and feeling into the uh, womb. In, uh, over the womb. Over the womb. Yeah. And uh, and are you basically sort of feeling to age that calf, just the size? Uh, just the size, but you can't always feel the size because if it goes really deep down, you can't reach. What? So can you judge part of the calf size? Say if you've you got a, part of the a hoof, a leg, yes, that it, type of stuff or not? Yeah, if it if it is close, you can feel that. You can feel the size. To but give you an idea. You just try to find arteries depending on how big the arteries are. All right. Go to All right. Yeah. Result, yeah. You can judge. Right. You can yeah. Estimate. It's not yeah. 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 How far is she off? Uh, eight, months. eight months. This lady had twins, a little uh, pair, a little bull calf and a little uh, heifer calf last year. Chabby's just done a see if she's the same again. I can't tell. This is the last one and this girl prolapsed last year. Chabby had to come and put her back end back in and sew it back in and before she calved, we had to nip, nick a, uh, a stitch or two and to let the calf out, but it can cause infection, can it? Mm -hmm. So she might not catch on this year. Yeah, she's fine. She's in calf, so a bonus. We've got one dud. We've got one dud, and to be fair, we're giving her another chance. So, yeah, brilliant result. And we're going to be very, very busy in January because a lot are uh, very, very close. So one over there has done been a good lad. I do like calf. I do. <laughs> Oh no, that's good. Come on, get on. Come on. Come on, get on. Come on. Come on. Come 
radio. Hey! Yeah, as long as they're paddling on straw. Come on, girls. 